Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Topps Diamond Icons Baseball. We got one box, random hit number 11 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Very big thanks to all of these folks right here. Now in the instance of an extra autograph, sometimes there's eight autographs which make 11 hits. We'll combo the relic with one of the autographs. We'll just kind of do our best to do that. Now first, we gotta select the box. Got box one and three left. We'll select the box. I'm gonna go with that one right there. So one, two, three for the top box, four, five, six for the bottom box. And it's gonna be two. So we're gonna do the top box right here. So we're gonna select that box and we'll, this, will, this should be up pretty soon. We'll open it, show you all the hits, top load everything, pause the video, type in the hits, randomize your names, randomize the hits, and then see what you end up with. Ooh, a book on the bottom right there. see the rest of the cards on that top camera right there too. I want to shift this this way here. All right. Here we go. First one out of the gate is going to be a nice one. It's Shohei Otani. One out of five. Ooh, and a dual relic, a dual autograph, Tim Lincecum, Buster Posey. Wow. Four out of ten, both on-card autos. My rivals. But great players, too. All right, next is Juan Soto, 11 out of 25, red ink autograph. He's got a good looking auto. Then we've got a Hideki Matsui. 16 out of 25. Next up is Mark Teixeira. One out of five, patch and auto, Yankees edition of Mark Teixeira. And it's got that hologram sticker in there. So if you go to MLB.com slash authentication, that's going to go in a bigger top letter, slash authentication, you can type in the letters and numbers in that sticker. It's uh, JC638261. And then you can see what game that was from. And then maybe you can check the box, check game logs and see, see if he uh, played. Ooh. And a Rick Farrell, one of one, cut auto. Old Cleveland Indian Rick Farrell? A Red Sox catcher? He might have played for a number of different teams, Oliver. Um, he played with the St. Louis Browns, star his career, then the Red Sox for a handful of seasons, then the Washington Senators, the 1937-41 edition of the Senators, back to the St. Louis Browns, and then the Washington Senators um, in the mid-40s. Passed away at 89 in 1995, and uh, elected by the Veterans Committee in 1984. He's in the Hall of Fame. Born in Durham, North Carolina. All right, yeah, all, all of that was off the top of my head, Oliver, obviously. It was his brother, Wes Farrell, Oliver, that you were thinking of, who was on the Brooklyn Dodgers for a season. Wes Farrell, his brother. Obviously, everyone knows that. All right, next one is Andy Pettit, 8 out of 10. Mm. 
not to be confused with Jaspi's customer, Aaron Pettit. I think they spell their last name differently, too. We, oh, we got two more. Wow, more Yankees. Glaber Day, Glaber Torres. Five out of ten. This was a group break. Yankees would have been crushing it. Nice silver ink autograph. Then we've got Edgar Martinez, three out of 25, red ink autograph. Is Jurassic World back on? And the book is the dual player, dual relic book card. So just two relics. And it's gonna be more Yankees, 10 out of 10. Aaron Judge on the left side and Giancarlo Stanton on the right side. Two big sluggers right there. Nice. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that is 10. The book is 10. Perfect. All right, so there you have it. I'm going to pause the video, type in the hits, and when we come back, we'll run that randomizer and see who ends up with what. Stick around. All right, welcome back. Got the hits typed in right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There you go. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a four, lucky seven times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Matt down to Seth. And then three and a four, seven times for the hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, and good luck everybody. Seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Glaber Day down to the Mark to Shara. All right, and here's how it shakes out. Matthew G, with the uh, the spot that you won, you get the Glaber Day. Glaber Torres, Silver Ink Auto, five out of 10. Brian with the Shohei Otani, one out of five. Red Ink Autograph, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. We got Josh Proust with the Dual Relic, Dual Auto, four out of 10. Tim Lincecum, Buster Posey. Zach Paul with the Juan Soto red ink autograph, 11 out of 25. Wade with the Edgar Martinez, 3 out of 25 autograph. Matthew with the Andy Pettit, 8 out of 10. Jeremy Agno with the Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton dual relic book, 10 out of 10. That's a good looking hit there. Uh, Brandon Walker, the Hideki Matsui, 16 out of 25. And Brian N with the Rick Farrell cut autograph, 1 of 1. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And Seth with a train whistle as well. The Mark Teixeira patch auto, one out of five. All aboard. Whoop, whoop. And there you go, boys and girls. Here it is. You're welcome, Josh. There's the Otani. This was a great break. There's the dual relic, dual auto of my rivals. Juan Soto has excellent penmanship. Nice Matsui, Teixeira. To the one of one cut auto. Pettit, Glaber Day, Edgar Martinez. And last but not least, of course, is the book. That's a good looking book right there too. 10 out of 10. Nice. If this was a group break, the Yankees would have crushed it. But it's a random hit break and there should be another one in the store. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and I'll see you for that one next time. Bye-bye.